Welcome to another sample CTA test video. I am an Azure administrator, an Azure security engineer, an Azure solutions architect, as well as a certified Kubernetes application developer. CTA sample test question seven, running parallel pods. Skill level for this task is easy. This task follows under the workloads and scheduling section of the CTA curriculum. Our sample question. Jerry, a junior K8, K8 admin at the same company you work at, comes to you for assistance. He says, I've been asked to have a pod run on multiple nodes. In addition, if a node is Add it, the pod will also run on that node as well. Anything else you ask? Jerry replies, yes. It should be an Nginx pod. Your task is to help Jerry. All right, the first thing is let's check out my environment that I'm running. Kubectl get nodes. And it should show I have two, three nodes total a master or a control plane, and then two other nodes uh, one and two. Part of the task is to make sure if you start a new node, uh, the pod will automatically run on that node. So I'm going to go to my worker two and do a shut down. Oh. Okay, so that's going to shut down soon. I'll close that one, go to my master, and let's just do a check pods. I don't think I have anything running. No. All right. So I'm ready to begin. And the most difficult part of this question is really what am I going to use? And Damien set. So let's go ahead and do a vim q7.yaml file. Whoops. Q quit. Let me delete that. Delete. So let's see. ls. And I want to say remove. I say all these YAMLs. All right, so now I want to do the q7.yaml file. All right, that's what I was expecting before. All right. Fixing my desk here a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to use our handy dandy documentation. And I'm going to search here. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go search here and type in Damien. I don't know. I'm a terrible speller. Hopefully that's good enough. Yes, it is. And I got docs, concepts, workloads. Looks up, they look the same. And I'm going to come down here. And this is the best one. There are no others. And there's a lot of information here I don't need. So I'm still going to copy everything. Come back here, do a paste, and then get rid of stuff. I you could have copied only what you need it, but I'm going to do it this way. And we 
going to go all the way up to resources. Starting from the bottom, we know we want this to be Nginx. Let's scroll on the top here. Con is Damien set. Uh, name. Let's call this Q7. And we don't. We're going to run it in the default namespace. We could go with a label, without a label. I'm going to get rid of the label. That's not going to affect anything. Spec here. We need this. These have to match. So let's put in here. What Q7 and actually up here. Let's put Q7 pod. And here we'll put Q7. And tolerations. Don't need any of this stuff. Seven C for a container. I think this will do it. All right. Once again, I have. Let's check our nodes out. Yeah, worker two is not ready. So what I imagine is going to happen? I'm going to start my Damien set. It's going to create a pod. Let me do this. It's going to create a pod on worker one and nothing on worker two. Um, they're going to start up worker two and we should see our Q7 pod start up on worker two. Let's see what happens. So create slash fq7.yaml. All right. We'll do a get. Pod slash o wide, and you can see it's running on worker one only. All right, I'm gonna come down here and say start. No idea how long this is gonna take. But I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back. I'll let you know I'm pausing the video right at seven minutes now. All right. It's been about one minute. Uh, I did this at my time, 8.14 p.m. At 8.15, I ran the command again. It says now it's ready. What I have not done as I start the video back is do a get pods. My up arrow, there we go, it just wasn't working. And I want to do a dash O wide. And there we go, we got it up running on both worker one and worker two. And I do believe if I started a worker three, it would start running on there as well. So uh, there you go, Jerry. Uh, I'll take part of your paycheck, please. Okay. Well, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.